Welcome to Sew Anastasia, and today we're going to be learning how to do a blind hem on a skirt that I found at a thrift store, which I love. Check out this amazing print, so fun and bright and vibrant, but it's way too long. It's very school teacher, grandma length on me, and we need to make it a little bit more fashionable, so I totally don't look like the crazy art teacher all the time. Okay, so I laid my skirt out on the table. I've turned it inside out, so that way when I draw on it with chalk, I'm not going to have it on the outside of my fabric at all. So you have to decide how long you want the garment that you are having. So I'm going to do 18 inches down from the waist and you're going to add an extra inch and a half to whatever your length is because we're going to be ironing that up later. So take your ruler, measuring tape, whatever you're using, and go ahead and measure down the length that you need. So we're going to be measuring 19 and a half and I'm going to go ahead and make these measurements across my fabric. So my chalk blends in, but you can see our spots that we have across the skirt. So go ahead and do that to your entire skirt front and back. And now we have our chalk lines for the hem so we know what we're gonna cut off. So I'd like to cut up to a chalk line. And flatten out your fabric and follow your chalk lines. Make sure you're cutting through one layer. Let's go ahead and double check and make sure we're cutting off the right even amount across the whole hem. This hem looks like it's already uneven, so you want to be a little bit careful with that. And it also could be because the fabric is just a loose fabric. So let's fold over the chunk that we've cut already. Let's line it up with the hem and the top. And it looks like it's lining up really well. So we're not gonna end up with an uneven hem. So go ahead and keep cutting across your chalk lines. Okay, if we cut it even, we're gonna end up right in the same spot where other chalk line was when we started. Perfect. Our skirt is looking even where we cut it, which is great news. So now we have our extra scrap, which we could turn into a million great little projects. And we are ready to hem our skirt. And not only hem it, but blind hem it. Okay, so now you need a measuring device and your iron. And we're going to iron our hem up before we go to the machine for the blind hem. So the first step is going to be folding it up a half inch. If you don't know what a half inch looks like visually, you'll get used to it, but go ahead and measure up a half inch and let's iron down a half inch. We've already folded it up a half of an inch and now we're going to fold it up and iron an inch. So take your tape measure again, fold it up an inch, give it a measure, make sure it's good, okay? And measure it in a few spots and then hold it and iron it down. And you're gonna do this to the entire hem of the skirt. So go all the way around your hem again and fold up and iron one inch. Okay, so we have the hem all ironed up, our skirt is prepped, and now we need to prep our machine. So for the Husqvarna machine that I'm using, the hemming blind hem foot is the D foot. So you're gonna go ahead and change out to the D foot. So the back has a little cut out area in it that's gonna make it easier for you to hem. We're going to clip in the foot so push it in that little area, and now we have our foot. Next, we are going to set up our stitch. Currently, we have it set up on a straight stitch. We're gonna go ahead and hit number 21, which is going to be our blind hem stitch. And you can see it changes up in the panel. And you can also adjust your stitch length and width with these two buttons here, 
I'm going to leave it at 0.5 for a length and I'm going to make the width a 3.5. So we're gonna test it out first. You always wanna test out your stitch length and your stitch width depending on how thick the fabric is, you're gonna need to adjust it. Now grab your stick of pins and we are going to pin the hem. This is the trickiest part of a blind hem. We have our one inch ironed up. We're gonna take it and flip it back and I want to see a quarter inch of the self fabric. So the outside of the fabric there, I wanna see a quarter inch of it. And we're going to put a pin in, like so. So we're just showing a little bit of the self fabric. And you need to go all the way around your skirt and pin it every few inches. Your hem should look like this with the pins in it and now we're ready to go to the machine. So we're ready to start sewing, but the most important part is that you line it up in the right area with the foot. So I'm going to show you exactly where to put your creased edge of fabric before you start sewing. So we have the wrong side of the fabric, we have the right side of the fabric on this quarter inch right here, and we want to line up the wrong side of the fabric, this fold here, with the left edge of this slit. Okay, so now we're ready to start sewing. This is when your first couple stitches you want to check and make sure you're actually catching the fabric on the left side. So it's going to sew a couple stitches and it's going to zigzag over and you want to make sure when it zigzags over that it's catching at least one thread of that fabric. So we've checked the stitch and it is catching when it zigzags over so we're all set to go ahead and sew all the way around the hem of your skirt. Also, very important, make sure you move the pins as you go. You never want to sew over your pins. Why? Because it'll either put a hole in your fabric, break your needle, poke your eye out, I don't know. Just don't sew over your pins. So we are done with our blind hem. You can see here that we have it folded up that inch and that is permanently sewn down. You can see almost like a little zigzag stitch here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and iron it all the way around. Make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, so we have finished our skirt and we have a blind hem. Why is it called a blind hem? Well, because we can't see it. You will see a little prick stitch here and there, totally normal and fine. So my skirt is Anastasia length now. Perfection, can't wait to wear it. I think I might wear it with a band t-shirt. Thanks for watching So Anastasia today. I hope you had fun with the blind ham. If you have any questions, leave it below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Be sure to add us on Instagram. Check out all my latest designs at AnastasiaChaska.com and we'll see you soon.